All right, today we're going to talk about a new strategy that's kind of like the standard algorithm, but I call it the negative number strategy. And I'm going to show you how it works. It's set up much like the standard algorithm, where a number problem like this gets stacked. So I would start with our larger number, and I would stack the smaller number underneath, making sure place value positions stay the same, ones, tens, hundreds. Now in the standard algorithm, we would start right here at the ones. We can't, if we have four, we can't remove nine, so we would regroup. In the negative number strategy, we actually start right here. And we start with the hundreds, because I can do, if I have seven, I can subtract 400. And what I would do then is write down the total that I have. Now that I have 300 left in my number, I go to the next column, which would be the tens. Here I have three tens, and I'm subtracting six tens. Well, 30 minus 60 would be a negative 30. So I write that negative 30 here, and then I combine my 300 and my negative 30, which is the same as 300 minus 30. I know that 30 minus 3 is 27, so 30, min 30 tens minus 3 tens is 27 tens, or 270. Now that I've taken care of my tens, I go to my ones, and I go through the same process. 4 take away 9, or 4 minus 9 is a negative 5. I write my negative 5 down here, and then I would go ahead and find what is the difference between 270 and negative 5, or 270 minus 5, which is pretty easy for me to do. It's only 5 away from 270, which would be 265. And now I have my answer. I can show that my answer is correct by doing a number line, by skipping forward, If I'm at 469, I would like to get to 470 and then to 500. 469 to 470 is 1. 470 to 500 is 30. And 500 to 734 would be 234. When I combine my total, I would get 234 plus 30, plus 1, which is 265. So I can verify that my answer is correct. Sometimes when you use the negative number strategy, you'll notice that not all of the numbers come out negatively. Let's take a look at this problem, 841 minus 237. I'm going to go ahead and stack my numbers, starting with my larger number and placing the smaller number underneath. With the negative number strategy, I will start in the hundreds column. So 800 minus 200 is 600. That's where I start. I go to the next column, and I notice that 40 minus 30 is a positive 10. It's not negative. So I can add my 10 to the 600 that I have, or 610. My next column, after I've finished with the tens, is the ones. I have one, and I'm taking away seven. So one minus seven is a negative six. Now I can combine my 610 and my negative six, or 610 minus six, which would be 604. Now let's compare that to the standard algorithm and see if we end up with the same number. And then you can decide which one is easier. So in the standard algorithm, I would start here. I have one, I'm taking away seven, which I can't do. So I need to regroup my tens. Instead of having four, I'm gonna take one 10 over, which would leave me with three, and I would add one to make this 11 ones. 11 minus seven is four. Now I have three tens, and I'm subtracting three tens, which is zero. 
I have eight hundreds, which I'm subtracting two to get six hundreds, and I end up with my same number. One of the nice things about the negative number strategy is that you don't have to worry about regrouping over a zero like you would in this problem, where we have 5,014 minus 1,234. Let's see what it looks like. Stacking the numbers, the largest on top, the smaller on the bottom. Negative numbers start with the largest place value position. 5,000 minus 1,000 is 4,000. 0 minus 200 would be a negative 200. So this is very similar to 40 minus 2, because it's really 40 hundreds minus 2 hundreds, which would be 38 hundreds, or 3,800. To our next number, we in our tens, 110 minus 3 tens would be a negative 2 tens. When I combine, my th thousands are going to stay the same, and then I have 80 minus 20. 80 tens minus 2 tens would be 78 tens, or 780. Finally, we get to 4 minus 4, and that answer is 0, and we combine that for a total of 3,000. 780. Now let's compare that to the negative, or excuse me, to the standard algorithm and how that would look differently. In this case, we would start at the ones place. 4 minus 4 is 0. We would do 10 minus 30, which we can't do, so we have to regroup. But we can't regroup from the 0. So we have to go over to the hundreds place, okay? So this 50, to bring one over, ends up becoming 49 tens, and we add 110 to the one we had before, which would be 11. Now we can do 11 minus 3, which is 8. We can do 90, 900 minus 200, which is 70, or 700, and 4,000 minus 1,000, which is 3,000.